What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today we're going to work on the solar powered go-kart. And so I ordered some parts since the last episode. I've got the right sprocket. Um, instead of trying to jerry-rig the other one, I decided to get the right piece. So I did some research and figured out how many teeth and the, the right chain and all that kind of stuff. So this is an 11 tooth sprocket with a double D uh, hole there, uh, 10 millimeter and it uses 410 chain. So I tested it out, it works with our chain. The other piece that I needed to order, um, we found out test fitting off camera, was I needed a key switch. So basically this is just like in a car, you put a key in and you turn the switch and it activates the motor. So we needed that in order to be able to wire up our motor with the hand controls that we're going to be using. Okay, we're gonna run up to the hardware store first and get a bolt that's going to attach this axle to the main frame. So we're gonna run off and do that and then cut a hole. Okay, so we got four washers, three quarter inch size, one four and a half inch bolt, three quarter inch size and a nut three quarter inch. So basically we're going to have one washer that goes up against the bolt. Two of them are going to go in the middle between the boards to space them apart to reduce friction and we'll, we'll grease them up so they can spin. And then another washer and then the nut. Okay, so after further discussion, we decided we're going to do a solid rear axle with the, both wheels instead of just one wheel, uh, mainly because we don't think that we can put that much weight on just one wheel. So and it'll also make the mounting of the wheels slightly easier. So we're going to go ahead and cut down here about 18 inches. So it will it'll kind of look like a, tr a trike. So we'll have a much shorter axle in the back which will be fixed and then this one will will move and have have a wider wheelbase okay so we dug through the scrap bin and found something that will work as far as a mount for the back wheels so basically these will sit underneath the axle like that and the wheel will, the, uh, the shaft that goes through the, the wheel that doesn't turn will come through here and bolt on the other side and anyway you'll see when we get this connected. Okay so I lost the footage uh, yesterday of our last little segment here but this is what the bracket's going to look like. Um, and I'm actually going to put another piece underneath here that will keep this stable so it can't bend. Um, so anyway, it's a little ugly and maybe not optimal, but this is what we're going to run with for now. If it doesn't hold the weight, we'll order some pillow mounts or something else that will work. But we're going to run with this for now. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. If you like this video, hit subscribe so you can watch the rest of this video series.